stains and how to get them out. And I'm going to show you how to take them out with natural things and show you some products you can use if you prefer. First of all, I want to talk about grass stains. Now, obviously, the kids aren't rolling around in a pot of grass. But when you get grass stains, they're very hard to remove. And if you put anything like chlorine bleach on them, it sets them in. So the best way to take them out, first of all, you can use rubbing alcohol. I keep a sprayer of rubbing alcohol in my laundry room. And you're just going to spray that grass down. And spray a nice, good, heavy coat on. Let it sit for about half an hour. Rub it between your fingers and then flush it with cool water. If you still have a stain, go to an enzyme-filled spotter. Now, two of those are something like Zout, or I also like this Shout Advanced one. It does a great job. Work it in, let it sit. Laundry as usual, do not dry it till you're sure the stain is gone. You can also use some all fabric bleach, remember no chlorine, or a product that you can buy at the store is Carbona Stain Doubles. And they will say what stains they're for, number six, is for grass and it does a great job on it. Now let's talk about barbecue sauce because you know when you're having a barbecue you always get those stains on you. So first thing you can use white vinegar on that. Um, work it into it and I take just a little plastic spoon when I'm in my laundry room and I start and I work it in really well with that. Then I'm going to treat that with one of my favorite spotters. Now, I really like the OxyClean spotter. The gel works really good on that. It works on set-in stains, too. Or if you want something you can buy, again, the Carbona Stain Doubles come in one that is for sauce, and it will take it out, and it does a great job of doing it. You could also use hydrogen peroxide, pour it on, work in some baking soda and launder as usual. Now, if you got kids or grandkids, you're always gonna have popsicle and ice cream stains. In fact, even I get ice cream stains. How do you get those out? Well, first of all, soak those stains in cold water. Just take a bucket, fill it up with cold water, soak it for an hour or two. See if that will take it out. Lots of times it will. If it doesn't, what can you use? Well, you can put on some lemon juice and sprinkle on some cream of tartar. Let it sit about half an hour or so and flush it to see that you have it out. You can use Bell's Naphtha Bar Soap. It works great on those kind of stains. Or my carpet spotter that I like so much is Spot Shot Instant Carpet Stain Remover. It does a great job on laundry stains. And let me just tell you, I have no affiliation with Spot Shot or any of these spotters, but they're all things that will work for you. Now, berry stains, blueberries, things like that. Take about a quart of water, put in a couple tablespoons of vinegar, about a half teaspoon of your favorite laundry detergent, let it sit and soak for a while, work it in, it will take it out for you. You can also use the Carbona Stain Double that's for berry stains and fruit stains. Now, sweat stains, we all have them. If we're working out, what can you do for those? Well, first of all, you can saturate them with white vinegar. What I generally do is take about a half cup of warm water, about a cup of white vinegar. Put it on those underarm stains or even if they're on the shirt front or back. Let it soak and then flush it. If it doesn't all come out, then lay it out on your counter or on a towel. Put on some baking soda and some salt. Spray it down with hydrogen peroxide. Let it soak for a while. That will do a great job. And things you can buy at the store. I like the Dissolve It. Laundry Saver, which does a great job. And again, Carbona Stain Doubles. You can buy them in any grocery store, places like Walmart and that. They have one for sweat stains. So all of those things will work for your hot summer stains. So check me out at Facebook and Instagram at The Real Queen of Clean. Go to my website, queenofclean.com, for a proud of everything. And thanks for talking dirty with The Queen of Clean.